right, here we go. It's time for another video. That rhymes, in case you guys didn't catch that, it does. We have got some stuff. We're going to run through this real quick. We got three. We've had three track trips. One was a disaster. It's got some video. You probably may have saw it on Kevin's channel already. No, I didn't. There's no use looking at time slips because they're trash. We had another track outing that has no video, and it was a disaster ish, mostly a disaster. And we have time slips for that, but it was just me and Eric there, and Eric's running his car, and I ain't got time. I forgot the GoPro and just a bunch of stuff. Then we have our third trip, our most recent trip, and we have video and time slips. Kevin was basically everybody was there, and um, that was a good outing. So you know, the fail TD still living up to its namesake. And uh, we did a couple little things, and I'll try to make this kind of short. So anyway, um, all right. Well, here's our first our first clip for one of the things that we added to the car, and I would like to give a um, big shout out to Michael Kelly. I filmed this a while back, but so I don't even know what all I say in it. But I'd like to give a big shout out to Michael Kelly, um, and I appreciate it. And we're putting it to good use, as you can see. All right, let's roll that clip. Bam. Okay, I have no idea how this clip is gonna get inserted in this video, but I'm opening it right now and I didn't want to have to, I wanted to look at it and I wanted to set up, hey, this is the magic opening. I just wanted to open it. Um, and this is gonna play a part in uh, some uh, upcoming update on the car. And I want you guys to see it at the same time I was seeing it. So not that anyone cares, but uh, wow. This is from Michael Kelly. Thanks, Michael. This is from Michael Kelly. Oh man, this thing is so light. Oh, oh. Now, Michael is not a professional glass guy or body guy or anything like that. Sorry if you can't hear me. We got my back to you. He's not a pro. He's actually a pretty decent wrapper of stuff. Sorry, this is trying not to make this take 100 years. Man, this thing is so light. I know you guys can tell what it is by now. I want to drop this. Oh, Dang. That is so freaking cool. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, this is a fiberglass front bumper with a surround made into it. And again, Michael's not a professional fiberglass guy. He wanted one for his car. And of course, nobody makes anything for these cars. So he made a, he made a, a mold and then he started making his own, just mostly for himself and for a friend or two and was gonna sell a few of them and stuff like that. And then he decided that, you know, after a year or so, he's gonna make some more. I'm like, hey, I need one of those, dude, for real. You know, if I had turbo car, or nitrous car, or blower car, well, you know, it's changed the pulley, wastegate, pill, you instant more horsepower. Naturally aspirated, not quite so easy. So weight is, our, is my enemy for real. And this right here, we've already lightened our front bumper up and stuff like that, got rid of the brackets, but even this is going to save us a pretty good amount. So we'll probably just run a little sandpaper on it, clean it up a little bit, and we'll just probably just shoot this baby flat black, throw her on there. Oh man, that is going to be so freaking cool. It's so light. I love it. So anyway, sweet. All right. Sorry it took so long. Here it is. Okay, I'm back. I haven't even watched that clip. I just basically stopped, paused for about five seconds, and said, hey, we're back. All right, um, we changed, you saw the bumper. We changed the clutch in the car. I put a clutch in it, um, a brand new one. I uh, drove it around, didn't give it the 500 mile, oh my goodness, break in, but probably put 150 miles on it and put a lot of shifts on it. Just shift, 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 shift. It wasn't just driving with it in overdrive. So um, it, it, it drove good. It just didn't race good. So we took it to the track, and um, basically, here's what happened. Rodney and Kyle's first pass of the day.
Second pass. damaged the shift fork on the second pass we finished it off there was no one home on third and we broke it and one of the guys at work left we broke the three four shift fork so we brought it home we drove it back home drove it out here, here and we uh, pulled the transmission out again pull, you know because we had to pull it put the clutch in pull the transmission out we fixed the shift fork and we took it back to the track and I'll show you those time slips right here all right, here's our first two disastrous passes. Uh, we missed fourth, and that was garbage. And then we uh, broke the shift for it. Neither one of those 60 foots are impressive. Then we fixed it and took it back. We missed fourth. We missed second. The, they had all kinds of printing problems. We get a time slip. Uh, this was actually a good pass. You know, I was okay with that. I don't know what the DA was. I didn't even look. I hadn't even looked it up. Uh, I had to let out of it. Got car got kind of loose. We missed second, then we broke the shift fork again. So that's how that whole situation played out. So, and we decided it was time for a change. Okay, that night ended in a disaster. At this point, I know when to cut bait. Um, so we pulled the trans again, and I put the old slip master back in, and um, we also upgraded our wallet scream bloody murder but we bought one of the billet three four shift forks from amp performance they're someone they're they're the only people that are making anything like that as far as i know i've looked in the past no one makes anything g-force used to make some used to make some shift forks but they were even more expensive but within the last maybe year amp has started making them or advertising them I, to be honest i don't stay on the forums i don't keep up with everything or anything honestly so this product may have been out for a while. I just hadn't found it. I've been look. I've looked in the past. So we ponied up and bought one of those. It's always a little nerve wracking when you buy an aftermarket part that you put in. You're not sure. You know, when I put it back together, the top cover was a little weird going together. So I was like, Ugh. you know. So anyway, but all in all, we got it bolted back together with the old slip master back in it. We had our pimping bumper on. We also changed uh, the radiator in the car, something a little racier. And uh, at, at some point, I'm going to do another, like, kind of a walk around with the car, some of the stuff we've done. I just got it loaded up, and I ain't got time to unload it, and all this kind of rig and roll. So we'll kind of do it just a video, go through the car a little bit, uh, maybe answer some questions that people have about the cars. Anyway, uh, we got the transmission put back together, and um, we took it to the track. So let's, I don't even know what the intro is going to be because I haven't watched any of the video, honestly. I've watched like two clips, maybe three. Uh, two in car and one out car, so I don't even know what the song's going to be or nothing, but whenever I quit talking and say, here's the intro, you're going to see it. So, here's the intro. <laughs>
right, here is our first pass of the night. We were racing Kyle. I'll have the DA down there. And, you know, as you saw in the video, um, we were pretty happy with it. I'm sure Kevin's calling out the times. I haven't even watched the videos, so I'm sorry. Um, we left uh, around 5,600 on this. I may have said it in the video. If I did, I'm sorry for double talking. So anyway, there's the slip though, and that's what we did on our first one. Coyote car's back. It's gonna be a good run. It's my luck, I didn't put the GoPro on the car. Okay, well, as you can see, the coyote, man, he went way red on me. He thought it was going to be pro tree because he has a PT written on his uh, window. But unless you actually tell the start line, the staging guy, he's not going to, he's got to call it to the tower. Um, so we left on a full tree. He left just a hair early. That's a, that thing, that coyote gets after it, man. I was, uh, made up some of it on the 60 foot, but, uh, just uh probably about three quarters of a car in a track is a is a good race though once once we got settled in we pretty much just stayed where we were at he you know he's probably started creeping on me just a little bit there at the end but um anyway it was fun it was a fun race and um i'd like to you know maybe tie it with him a few more times it's, it's just fun he's a really nice guy real cool so uh ford guy and that's that's always awesome so anyway but um it was really busy so we just didn't manage to get hooked up again so anyway that was a great pass so it was a lot of fun No end car of this one. 60 foot wasn't great. I had to let out of it at the end a little bit. It was, you know, starting to sashay around a little bit. And, you know, honestly, I'm not, I, you know, I got nothing to prove out there. So I'll just push the clutch in if it gets too wild down at the other end. I'll just push the clutch in and coast and come back and do it again. So anyway, 674, you know, mile an hour and everything. But 60 foot wasn't fantastic. But um, anyway, that's, uh, that's how that worked out. <laughs>
we PB'd it right here. We were racing David. Um, I was a tad early and he was a tad late, but uh, 60 foot, you know, that was personal, that's not a personal best 60 foot, but personal best ET 652 with a nine. We were pretty happy with that. And, um, you know, so it was so far so good. We were just happy that the dang thing was shifting the way it was supposed to and everything else. That's, it's always frustrating when you go up there and you have a bad, you know, a couple outings and then, you know, it's nice to get up there and things be going smoothly. So, all right. <laughs> and you make it a pass. Another pretty good pass here. Um, I'll try and remember what the launch RPMs were. I'll have to go back and watch the videos because I was kind of moving the dial around as I see what's going on in front of me on the starting line. And um, i also try and put if this is a hot lap or not, uh, you know, at, when I'm making the passes. And so um, anyway, 655, 103.6, pretty good. We were happy with that one. Five on that pass with a 139. That, I can't believe it did that well. We're following the streetcars. I got it turned down. Dang, I'm gonna turn down 62. Okay, this is the one that, um, you know, I was, man, the 60 foot, but it needs that wheel speed. Um, I got to really start working on that a little bit, um, getting the air pressure up on the tires and lowering the launch RPM a little bit. It kind of goes against what I'm, what I'm used to doing where I run low tire pressure and high launch RPM. Um, but I need to start kind of swinging it the other way and see if I can meet in the middle because that was a that honestly was a killer pass considering 60 foot. But um, also I had some GoPro trouble here at some point in time. I'm not sure when we'll stop, we'll stop with the in car. I think I got four or five or six runs. We made nine total, so. All right, on to the next one. Okay, um, great reaction time, like anyone cares, because I certainly don't. And uh, not a great 60 foot, but the number, I wasn't too happy with a 58. I was honestly hoping for maybe a 55 or a 54 or something. But, um, you know, it runs what it runs. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm definitely not always perfect in the car. So I guess just why well, I got to keep making passes, try and get better each time. So um, anyway, but we didn't miss any gears. So that was always a bonus. <laughs> We switched over to the right lane to give it a shot and uh you know i was happy with this number it was pretty representative of our night 55 flat 137 103.5 i'm you know we were just kind of cruising along doing our thing and um by now the dew had fallen so uh you know things were going to start getting a little dicey out there at least for me <laughs> Alright, 
last pass of the night was racing Kyle. Um, I was a tad early again and bad 60 foot spun. I left too hard. Uh, and I had to pedal it a little bit down at their end. You can probably hear me whapping the throttle on the video kind of what, what, you know, but 663 at 98. So, um, anyway, that was our last pass of the night. Uh, we, um, did make nine passes. And if you throw out the, uh, 74 and the 63, where I had to let out of it, my worst pass was a 58 with a three. My best pass was a 52 with a nine. So we'll take that and, uh, you know, that's also now, I think, 167 passes that we have put on this thing. So, yippee ki yay. This is a little short block, man. It is a freaking little workhorse. It is hanging in there tough. And I say that, it'll go out and kick a rod out of it on the next one. So, all right. Well, let's, uh, you know, let's wrap this thing up. It's already getting long. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. I know this may not be the video that you asked for or the video that you want, but it's the video that you got. So, um... We've got a few more. We've got a few more modifications that we're, uh, you know, going to do to the LTD. I'll be honest. I just, I love this car. It'll never be as light as a Mustang, but I just like this car. I just, I really like it. Um, as you can tell, because that's pretty much all I'm working on and all I'm racing and all I'm spending the money on. So, we got a few more modifications that we're going to do to the car um, before, you know. We do anything else we got some we got some stuff we need to do honestly um, but we'll get to that when we get to it but um, our next modification is going to be we're going to put the 750 main body on and uh, see if that helps us out a little bit or if it doesn't ain't no big deal just like with the clutch we can switch it back so anyway i guess that's going to do it so uh thanks for you know commenting and thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching and until next time i can't say i'm the substandard leader of fox body videos because i don't really put out that many videos but um we are we are a substandard fox body channel how about that that is us you get the junk right here it's just junk so all right cool anyway we'll see you guys later hope everybody's doing good with covid stay safe stay healthy and uh it's getting cold so it's our race time for you guys up north it's not but for us this is our racing season so We'll see you guys in the next one.